Hi guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we're taking a look at what the difference is between a report and a proposal. This is the question I get asked most about by students. They just really don't understand because they look really similar. Um, they kind of read really similar, but there is one very big difference. Um, so if you're not sure, stick around. So, what's the difference between a report and a proposal? You tell me. I've got two texts here. One is from a report, one is from a proposal. Let's see if you can tell which one of these is from a proposal. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute or so to have a read of these texts. Again, pause the video if you want so that you can read um, both texts properly. And then come back once you've read the text Unpause the video and let me know which you think is a is a proposal. Off you go. All right, your time is up. Hope you need more time. Again, pause the video um, and keep reading. B. I would say B a million times over is a proposal, but why? why? Well, let's take a look. So the main difference between your report, your report is factual. It includes statistics, you're recounting an event or you're reporting uh, what happened at an event or what happened about a certain problem. Okay. What happened being, you know, the main thing here because your report is written in the past. The clue is in the name, you are reporting. So whatever you're reporting on must have already happened, right? It's a past writing only in the future. Whereas a proposal is written in the future, okay? You're trying to be persuasive. You're trying to get somebody to help you either by giving you money to fund a project, by using their power um, to help you, you know, stop something getting closed down or something like that. There's lots of adjectives and adverbs used to try and but the music of the few. Again, the clue is in the name. You're proposing something for the future, whether it be a collaboration um, or whether it be to save a particular landmark or something like that. So all of your writing is going to be in the future. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. All right, uh, for example here, this rejuvenation would not only preserve green space, but also promote community well-being. Okay, so would, we're using the future, hypothetical. Same here, walking trails, community gardens would transform it. Okay, hypothetical. Whereas if we go back to our report, you can see they were organised. They attracted participation. Okay, so your report is in the past. Proposals in the future. That's your main difference between the reports. So I hope that's cleared up any confusion that you had uh, about the difference. I know they can be a bit confusing. Proposals the future. So if you head on over to the next lecture, um, we're actually going to start the next section. We're done with content and communicative achievement. Um, we're going to move on to looking at language. Um, specifically vocabulary. All right, so head on over there and I'll see you.